So here we are on the homepage of Pictory. I've logged in using my Google account. There are several options of how you can create your video. So this one is free with the free version. Some of these others, I got a little farther along in using them and they stopped me because they were not free, but they're really powerful and the pricing is amazing. So if this is something that you think you would use a lot, I highly recommend you signing up and I will share a code for 20% off at the end of the session. But first of all, the this describes the article to video option. So you can actually paste an, an article and have a video generated from that article. And I tried this out last night and it was amazing. Um, this one is using videos, uh, sorry, edit videos using text. So you can use text from various uh, locations and you can have then all of that text married together and a video will be created. You don't have to find images. You don't have to do any transitions. It'll do it all for you. Another powerful tool. This one is visuals to video. So this is if you already have visuals and you would like them to be um, compiled into a video for you, I can imagine lots of uses in the public schools for this. But I'm gonna start with script to video. So I'm gonna click proceed. And this is the basic script editor, um, the initial starting out screen where you're going to paste your text. So I'm just gonna jump back over to ChatGPT and I'm going to find my digital literacy summary. So this is a, um, a summary of a digital, the importance of digital literacy for students in the 21st century. I'm just grabbing this for, for the ease of, or for the sake of time. So not a lot of text there, but enough that I can show you the demo. So um, I'll just say, bullet. okay, so obviously just copy paste. I'm going to click proceed. You're going to choose what template you want. And this is just kind of the vibe of your, um, of your movie. So I don't know. There's actually one in here that I really liked. It was the metaverse. I'm going to click select. I'm going to choose the aspect ratio. Click continue. So this literally takes no time at all. It's going to pitch me a premium version, which I'm going to close. And now, as you see, it has broken that text into three different scenes, scene one, scene two, scene three. It has married it with appropriate video. It's found video in its um, catalog that it thinks is representative of the text. It's added, um, you know, each scene has a different clip and then it has transitions in between each that you can add or you can disable. So if I just choose, if I'm going to click, uh, yeah. Okay. So I just added some transitions between these just to show you. So a couple things, you can edit the text at any time and, um, you can edit the video at any time. So this is obviously chat GPT generated. I would not want to take, um, something from chat GPT and just copy it directly. Chat GPT, as you know, is, um, just a guideline. So I would actually have to go in and rethink these, uh, these uh, various scenes to make it, you know, first of all, more um, my voice, but second of all, something that I think is aligned with what I'm working on, which is my digital literacy unit. So that can be edited at any time. Um, you can also add text. You can add headings on to the pages. Um, you can add audio. And there's so many different choices with audio. So it'll allow you in the free version access to certain um, music for free. So it'll also allow you to search for the type you're looking for. So, you know, this is like the mood of the music. So maybe I'll just do hopeful, click apply. Um, it'll also allow you to search for duration. You know, there's so many different ways that you can search that makes it super easy for you. And then if I click on one and play it, I'm just going to apply that because just, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time going through the details of what these all sound like. The other thing I can do is then I can go into voiceover. So I have a couple of choices. I can actually record my own voice if I want, and um, I'll show you how to do that. But I can have this text read by the bots. So I can choose male, female. Um, I can choose the region or the accent. So maybe I'll do, I don't know, New Zealand. 
Um, and then I can, I can play to see what it sounds like. Okay. So what I like to do is go through and check all of these different options and see which one sounds less, less bot like, because I don't love that sound. Um, but there are, it's very close and a lot of them actually are surprisingly, um, realistic sounding. So that is another feature. Another thing you'll need to know how to do is adjust your audio settings. So if you just click here, you could actually lower the background volume. And that's only a really important if you're recording your own voiceover because you don't want the background music to cover up your voice. So make sure that you adjust that as needed. So now if I want to record a voiceover, so I don't want a bot to read this text, I want to actually read it myself. I'm going to go back to the story. And I'm going to click on the scene that I want to record. And then I'm going to go down here to add voiceover. So you can upload a voiceover that you've already recorded, but for me, it's going to be much easier to record it right now. I'm going to click on record. You have to make sure that you allow your mic. Digital literacy is crucial for middle school students in the 21st century, as it helps them understand and effectively use technology for learning, communication, and problem solving. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna click apply. And now I can preview that. Obviously I've only um, recorded voiceover for that one picture. It's gonna take a minute to prepare. Okay. So it sounds good. I like it. I'm not loving the music, but I'll go back and trim that. Um, the other thing is I can actually, I'm going to see if I can zoom in a little here. So down, oops. So down here, there's lots of options for um, creating the video that you want. You can change the visual that it has selected for you. So if I don't like this visual, now the amazing thing about Pictory is that the visuals end up being, you know, pretty, pretty good, pretty close to something I would choose. Um, but if you do not like the visual, you can click on it and you can trim it or you can actually replace it. So for instance, if I want to replace this visual, I'm going to go over to the left and I'm going to click on visuals. Now I'm selected on this particular visual so I can scroll down and I can find another visual. Now it's selected Reliance, Technology, Life, Student. So if I want to switch the category, I can. I can search for specific types of visuals. Um, this one kind of, let's see, I'll just grab, there we go. There's a different visual I like. And if you notice, it just popped it right in down here to that particular, um, section of the movie. So that's another way to adjust the visuals. Also, you can slide in your own visual. You can slide in something that you've recorded on your own. That would be really kind of interesting. The kids could, you know, see their own school. They could see their classroom. Um, whatever it is that you're trying to demonstrate. So there's so many things that you can do with this. It's really incre incredible. So that's kind of the basic overview. But the other thing I wanted to show you over here down on the left is this section called branding. And so far I've been playing with this and I have not been blocked yet because I have the free version. So I'm going to just do a quick overview of what this is. So basically you would enable an intro scene. So this would be something that would appear at the top of every one of your videos. You can add your own image. So let's see, I can, I don't know. This is like, this is like a visual that I actually created for my course. Um, oh yeah. So this does want me to upgrade. Okay. So if you decide to upgrade, what you can do is you can add your own visuals and then this can be the brand. You can add a logo, you can add the size, um, you can add the intro text, and then you don't have to create this every time you go in and create a video for your students or for your social media. You can just use that. So it looks like I'm allowed to do one of those maybe per month, and then they want me to upgrade, but could be worth it. Um, I haven't looked too much into upgrading because I'm just getting started with this tool myself, but I think it you know might be something that I look at down the road. So I covered a lot there. Um, what I want to show you finally is just if you would like to preview this video, I always suggest you preview it before you generate it. The generation of the video takes, oh, I just added a little text there. I was playing around. Okay. And then the other thing, if you notice to remove the Pictory branding from the video, please upgrade. So you can see that there is a watermark very faint in the back. 
If you want that to go away, you would click upgrade. So with students, I don't think that it's that big of a deal. I teach middle school. If you're using this professionally um, or maybe you're doing a uh, training or um, PD or some other uh, level of um, sharing this video, you might want to upgrade for that reason. But it, that's up to you. I think it's fine with it in the back. And um, once I like it and I, it's the exact uh, video that I want to present to my students or my staff, I'm going to select generate. So I can select generate. I can select spreadsheet of social video posts. So let's just take a look at that feature. Okay, so here's the bulk social media content. So let's just walk through this together very quickly. Hashtag digital literacy. Um, and then let's take a look and see. Sometimes this is useful for people who are, you know, social media users who want to make sure that they have video snippets of their videos to tease on social media. So looks like this is going to take a minute. It's generating some snippets from my movie. Kind of a cool feature. I'll probably not use that so much since I'm going to use this with students, but something for you to check out. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Please go into Picturey, make your free account, throw some text in, and create your first movie. You'll see how easy it is, and they have a wonderful help page if you need it. Good luck.